Do you run an agency or are you a service provider and you're trying to set up your monday.com account but you just have no idea where to start? Well, you're in luck because in today's video, we are going to do a walkthrough of how I set up my monday.com for my agency, but also just for any general service provider. Think coaches, graphic designers, copywriters, anything. So if you are any of those things, please make sure to stay to the very end of this video so that you can get the complete walkthrough of my monday.com account. And just quickly, before we dive into the episode, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you get notifications as to when we put out new videos. We are going to be creating a whole bunch of content, all to do with hiring, virtual assistants, outsourcing, tutorials for different softwares, best ways to work with online team members, all of the goodness. So please make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you get out new videos every week. Okay, now let's dive into the walkthrough. Okay, so this is just a little quick video on how to use monday.com. So basically when you log in, it will look like this. This is my inbox. So every day you can log in and your inbox basically has all updates for you. So things that you are mentioned in, all updates for you, book bookmarked updates. Your inbox isn't super relevant. The most relevant thing is your notifications, I think. So these are the tasks that you need to do where people like someone subscribed, people will have mentioned you that will be in this part here. And so every day when you log in, you can go to the my week section. So this is filtered by her name's Entrina. She's my virtual assistant. You can filter it by person, but most likely you'll just, it'll just be on yourself. So you can just click there and just set it to yourself. I'll just keep it as Entrina because she has better tasks for me to show you an example of. So these are tasks that were due yesterday that were not complete. So when I log into this um, from a manager's perspective, I can look at, okay, there was three tasks that weren't complete yesterday. And then I can reach out to Entrina and look at why they weren't complete. If you log in and there's tasks that weren't complete from yesterday, you can simply click on them. So I can see here the status is she's working on it. So writing captions for outsource monkeys. So this is something that's going to take a couple of days. So she's still working on it. So that's fine. But if we click on this, this is just set as to do. So she just didn't do it yesterday. So we don't want your client to log into monday.com and click on a task that's overdue and see that it's still set in to do. If you have a task that's due and you're working on it, make sure to always change the status to working on it or stuck. Whatever their statuses are here, they'll have multiple ones. They might be a little bit different to mine, but we never want overdue tasks that haven't been started yet. You always need to make sure that you start the tasks on time. If you don't start them on time, you need to tell your client why you haven't started them. But basically, so if I was in Sharina today, I would log in and see and look at these and go, okay, I didn't do these yesterday. I need to do these three things first thing this morning. And then these are the tasks that are due today. So your client will set dates as to when things are due. You'll have different project names here for different videos or different tasks that you need to edit or complete. So that's sort of your overall look at, so then we can see like our coming for tomorrow, entering has these tasks. And then on Thursday, she has these tasks. And then like on the 16th, which is Friday, she has these tasks. So we can just get an overall look at what tasks you need to do on what day. But basically just an overview of monday.com. So there are sort of three different I guess, areas of monday.com. There's spaces, there's folders, there's boards. And then on a board, you can have a group, which is this title here, or you can have the task, which is this thing here. So the spaces are over here. These are sort of like the high level departments of your business or of the client's business, sorry. So in my monday.com account, we've got operations, we've got courses and programs, growth and visionary, sales and launches and Taylor Victoria headquarters. So I'm just gonna show you in operations. In operations, we then have these folders folders. So the folders can be opened. And once the folders open, you can see the different boards that are within the folder. So I'm not 100% sure what 
folders your client will have, but most likely they'll have some different spaces over here. Then they'll have some folders. Maybe they'll have video editing content. I mean, they might have all of these as well. They might have recurring operations, email marketing, blog content, whatever it is, dashboards. But basically when you click on a folder, it should open up a board. And I'm going to show you this board here because this board is attached to a form. So when you click into a board, there are different ways that you can view this form. The way that this board is set up is so that you can also view it as a request form. So for me, this is my podcast interview booking form. Every time a client fills this in, so they'll fill in all of these questions here. And then once they click submit, then we come back to the main table and it will add a new person here. So here's a test one that I literally just made this on the weekend, this new form. So it, I haven't had anyone fill it out yet, but here's a test one. So their name will be here, their email, and then this will just be all of the answers to the questions. So this is potentially something like, for example, your client might have a video request form. And so when a new video request is submitted, it will generate a new filled in video request form up here. And your client might assign that to you here. So the task owner or here, for example. So maybe we can just assign this to me for this video. So they'll assign you as the task owner. That means it's now going to show up in your week if they've set a date to it. And you also should get a notification up here that someone else has assigned you as the owner to a task. Now, when it comes to editing the projects, I'm not 100% sure how the client has their monday.com set out, but I'm going to assume it's probably just new requests sort of current requests that we're working on and then past requests that have been completed. So most likely you'll probably be working from this new request form up here. Now, when you log into monday.com and log into the new request area or however they have it set up, I know that he fills in all of the details that the client has given to him on a call. So he will have the brief from the client included in monday.com. He is going to have links to the footage that you need. He's going to have sort of an overview as to the style and what it should look like and sound like and any music or words or anything like that. He is going to have all of that information. So it's all going to be stored in monday.com like this. For you, all you will need, you just need to click on it and click on any links that will be included in it to download the footage. And then you'll be able to see the brief that will be in monday.com as well, so that you can know sort of how to edit the video. I know he has a big backlog of videos that need editing. So there's about 30 videos that are sort of backlogs that need editing. So the way that he is planning on doing it is we're going to assign you some tasks in monday.com. We are going to get you to edit them to the best of your ability from the brief that's in monday.com. So just follow the brief. And then once you've completed that, we're going to get you to upload the files and the project files and everything and send them to Cameron so that if he needs to make any changes, he can jump in and make changes to the files as well. Now, in terms of the content that you will be creating, he's going to be getting you to help with just their normal promo videos that they're building for local businesses. So they'll be maybe like in between three, three and five minute videos. Also possibly some blooper videos, some behind the scenes videos, and in the future, possibly some Facebook and Instagram ad videos as well for paid campaigns for clients that they're signing up to the agency. So that's the sort of videos that you'll be making, but it will all be, again, it should all be tracked in monday.com. If you want to edit something in monday.com, you literally just need to click it and so click it and then you can do whatever you want, like click it, you can put whatever, like Taylor, there we could put that. 
um, Instagram handle. So you just need to click it and then you can backspace and type anything you want. In terms of communicating with your client, we're going to set up a Slack channel so that you can communicate with him daily and we can keep track of everything. Yeah, I think for now, that's pretty much all you need to know in terms of monday.com. So just remember, there's spaces up here, there's folders, and then there's boards. Then on the board, there is a group, and then there's the tasks. So you'll be assigned tasks, uh, which will be different videos that you need to edit. And if you want to look at your week, just click here to look at the tasks you need to do and any updates or anything that the client mentions you in, you're going to get a notification up here and probably in your inbox as well. So that's sort of just a basic overview. And that is the walkthrough. So I hope you found so much value from this video. If you have any questions about setting up your monday.com account, please pop them in the comments below. I would be more than happy to help out. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you get notifications when all of our new videos come out. And just quickly, if you know that you want to hire a virtual assistant, you've been thinking about hiring a virtual assistant, you're running an agency, you found that you've stuck doing time consuming, tedious tasks that you don't feel like doing anymore, but you're just not really quite sure everything that you could get a virtual assistant to help with, we have just created a new freebie. It's 57 time saving tasks that you can outsource to a virtual assistant. And this freebie is going to be so valuable if you are a service provider or you run an agency. So please make sure to check the comments below so that you can see our latest freebie. It's a free report on the 57 time saving tasks that you can get a virtual assistant to help you with. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.